In this segment, we'll show you how to assemble your new Insignia TV console for up to 75-inch TVs. Throughout the assembly, assemble the unit on a carpeted surface or use the carton that it came in. When gluing in dowels, put one drop of glue on the end before you insert the dowel. Then insert the dowel. You may use a rubber mallet to fully seat the dowels if necessary. Make sure to glue both holes. When inserting the cam locks, make sure the arrow faces out and points toward the cam bolt. When installing the cam pins, part P, screw the threaded end into place. Ensure that all threads are securely fastened. Before inserting the unthreaded end into a hole, insert a cam lock, part Q, ensuring the opened end faces the cam pin. Then turn the cam lock clockwise to secure it in place. We'll begin by turning part A upside down and securing six cam pins, part P, in place. Then turn part E upside down and secure 12 cam pins in place. Now, turn part F upside down and secure two cam pins in place. Then secure one cam pin in part H. Now, secure one cam pin in part I. Next, insert a wooden dowel into the bottom ends of the back skirting, part G. Use a drop of glue on the end and tap in with a rubber mallet if necessary. Now align the left skirting, part H, and put a drop of glue in the dowel hole. Then, ensure the cam screw holes face in. Press the parts together. Then secure it with a cam lock, part Q. Now repeat the process for the right skirting, part I. Then glue a dowel into the lower hole on the right side skirting, part I. Next, repeat the process for the left side skirting, part H. Now insert two cam locks into the side skirts. Next, align the front skirting part F and put a drop of glue in the dowel holes. Then, press the parts together and secure it with two cam locks. Next, glue 10 wood dowels into the bottom shelf, part E. Then insert a drop of glue into each of the 10 dowel holes in the assembled base. Then align the assembled base with the bottom shelf, part E, ensuring that the pilot holes for the corner connectors face the front bottom shelf, and then press them together. Now secure the assembly with 12 cam lock connectors. Next, using the pilot holes as a guide, secure a corner connector, part Z, where the front and side skirting intersect, using four 15mm flathead screws, part S. Now, repeat for the other side. Then, thread a floor leveler, part AA, into each corner connector. Now, using the pilot holes as a guide, Attach a door stopper, part U, to the top panel, part A, using two 15mm flathead screws, part S. Ensure the right angle side of the stopper faces the front of the unit. Then repeat for the other door stopper. Next, glue two wood dowels into the holes on the top edge of the left side panel, part B. Next, repeat the process for the right side panel, part C. Then align the left side panel, part B, and the top panel, part A, ensuring the door hinge mounts face the front of the unit, and put a drop of glue into the dowel holes. Now press the panels together. Then secure them using two cam locks. Next, repeat the process for the right side panel, part C. Now align the partition panel, part D, ensuring the hinge mounting bases face the front of the unit. Glue two dowels into the holes.
Then, press the panels together. Next, secure them using two cam locks. Then glue six dowels into the holes on the bottom edge of the side panels and partition panel. Now, glue the six dowel holes in the bottom shelf. Next, align the bottom shelf, part E, ensuring that the leveling feet are facing the front. Then, press the panels together. Now, secure them together through the pre-drilled holes using six 50mm screws, part R. Now, go back and tighten all the cam locks and screws. Ensure that they're all tight and that there are no gaps between the pieces. This will help keep the unit secure. Then, turn the unit onto its face. Now, align the back panel, part J, and align its holes with the pilot holes on the unit. Then, secure it using 22 washer head screws, part T. Now, stand the unit upright. Note that we left the back panel off for clarity when filming. The back panel should be attached at this point. Then, insert the cam lock covers, parts V and EE, into the visible cam locks on the vertical panels. Part EE fills the holes where the cam lock is recessed. Part V snaps into place where the cam lock is even with the panel. Next, insert eight shelf supports, part W, into the holes in the side compartments at your desired height. Now, tilt and rest the adjustable shelves, part K, onto the supports. Then, insert a knob bolt, part Y, through the inside of the door, and then secure a knob, part X. Repeat for the other doors. Now, extend a set of door hinges to the open position. Then, slide the back hooks on the hinges into the slots on the mounting bases. Now, push in the back arm of the hinge to secure it in place. You will hear a click sound when the back hook and the front hinge pin are properly secured. Repeat for the other doors. If you need to remove a door, just press the release lever on the end of the hinge arm. Now, open and close the doors to ensure that they are aligned and close well. If necessary, adjust the screws on the hinge arms for a better fit. The front screw adjusts clockwise and counterclockwise. The rear screw adjusts the door in and out. Now stick two bumpers, part DD, to each door stopper where the door contacts the stopper. If you plan to place a TV on the top of the stand, you must adhere the acrylic stopper to the stand. If your TV has a single base, remove the backing paper from the stopper, part BB. Then align it with the stopper template and press it down firmly to adhere it to the stand. If your TV has two bases, carefully pull out the thumbtacks to remove the stopper template. Then align the template where one of your TV bases will be located. Next, remove the backing paper from the stopper, part BB. Then, align it with the stopper template and press it down firmly to adhere it to the stand. Now, repeat for the second stopper. If you wish to change the door panels from glass to wood, open a door and slightly loosen the screws and rotate the clips. Then, remove the door panel. Next, insert the new panel, rotate the clips into place, and then tighten them to secure the panel. Repeat this process for the remaining doors. Now position the stand against a wall and adjust the foot levelers. Then, follow the instructions to secure the tipping restraint kit to the stand and wall. Please note that the stand is only suitable for flat panel TVs.